can you adjust a non-adjustable lawnmower cable that's slack till it's tight again? Why, yes, you can. I've showed many people over the years this, including other small engine mechanics, and I show them what I'm about to show you, and they look back at me and they go, you can't do that. It's non-adjustable cable. <laughs> I beg to differ. Today, I'm going to show you how to do it, but guys, I got to warn you, this could possibly take up to maybe one beer to do this. Let's get her done. Good day, boys and girls. Thanks for tuning in to Steve Small Land Saloon again. Thanks for coming back. That's my website right there, by the way. Got a little information button up here. Link for that is also in there if you want to check that out one day. Dot com. So the problem with one of these cables right here on your lawnmower, some people call it a brake cable, some people call it a zone cable, an on-off cable, something like that. The problem is, after time, things stretch, things move, things bend, and then all of a sudden, your cable is not pulling the mechanism down where it's supposed to be pulling that. It's not pulling it far enough. What this cable does is when you pull that, that bale down, that lever right there, it pulls that cable and it actuates this mechanism down here on your engine. What that's doing is it is when you pull the lever down, it pulls the brake system off of your flywheel so the engine can turn freely and it also actuates your uh, on off switch so it's turning off and on killing your spark or putting your spark back on that's what that does sometimes if it's not pulling far enough it won't actuate everything down there like it's supposed to i'm going to show you on this one right here if you can see this i'm going to pull this bale down look at this it's only pulling that mechanism right there what is that a quarter of an inch that is not nearly enough to do what it's supposed to be doing it needs to pull a lot more than that so what do we got to do here you know what you guys you can actually do this on the lawnmower but for clarity purposes here i'm going to pull this cable off so you can see a lot more clearly what I'm gonna do here. Give me a second, I'll pull this off. All right, I got that cable off now. Now, you can see right there, your typical lawnmower cable, this even applies to drive cables actually too, if, if your drive cable's not pulling far enough. You see there's two parts to this. There's two parts of the cable. There's the inside part, the steel cable, that slides in and out like that through the outside part of the cable which is pretty much just a plastic uh, uh, sleeve there so do you know how many times i have seen a, a customer brings their lawnmower in and i see that it's been tied in a knot that outside that inside cable right there the steel one they have tied it in a knot like this and then they pull that knot really tight what did they do by doing that? They shortened the total length of that inside steel cable. They've shortened it, which will make your cable actually pull further. But every time I see somebody do that, I want to draw a little pair of Mickey Mouse ears on the lawnmower after I see that, because I don't think that's right. There's a better way to do it. Like I said, tying the knot in there will work because you shorten the, out, the inside cable. Another way to do it is to lengthen that outside cable. How do we do that? You'll see that there's a, two ends on this outside cable, two plastic ends. Most of them look similar to this right here. It's on the end of that uh, sleeve right there. And then you look at the other end right there and there's another one right there. I have a little silver Sharpie right here. I'm going to mark this just to make this a little clearer so you can really see what I'm doing. Marking that sleeve right there. Now, 
these two ends that I was talking about are actually screwed on to that sleeve right there. Watch this. You can unscrew that. See that? As it's unscrewing, I just unscrewed that about a quarter of an inch. You go back to the other side if that's not enough for you. And you can also unscrew that side. So what I just did there is I unscrewed both ends by about a quarter of an inch. And what did that do? That just lengthened the total length of this outside plastic part of your cable by a half an inch. <laughs> now I know uh, at home guys, a half an inch, it's not that big of a deal, but for a cable, a half an inch longer is a huge deal. I'm gonna show you why that is right now. I'm gonna put this back on the lawnmower and I'm gonna show you how much better that mechanism works down there. Give me another second, I'll put it back on and show you. Okay, I just got her back on there. Now, I'm gonna actuate that, uh, pull that lever, that bail handle up and down again. Watch this, watch how much further it's pulling. You see that? That is a huge, huge difference right now, just from us unscrewing those two ends on that cable a little bit. Quarter of an inch each, half an inch more pull, and sometimes that is going to fix it. Guys, I, sometimes these cables do wear out, they break, sometimes they don't slide good enough, sometimes you do need a new cable. If you guys do need a new cable, I do have a link on my description of this video to go back and buy a new cable if you wanna check out that link out when you want. Well, that is a simple, simple way to prolong the life expectancy of a cable. So you're not going out there and buying a new one every time when you don't need to. Um, I hope I saved you some money here, guys. Put some comments down right underneath this video. Share this with your friends. Subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. And I really, really, truly hope that helped. That's a trick a lot of people don't know. It's a non-adjustable cable. I know, but you can adjust it. Till the next video, guys. Lucky logger. Steve out.